Welcome everyone to another session of the Product Management View webinar series. Every Wednesday at 12 noon Eastern Standard Time, product management professionals can pick up the latest in thought leadership, tips and tricks. John Milburn brings to pragmatic marketing over 20 years of experience in the computer industry including 15 years in product management. He has implemented the Pragmatic Marketing Framework and launched several successful software and hardware products following this market-driven methodology. He is now an instructor for the top-rated courses Practical Product Management and Requirements That Work, as well as on-site courses. John, take it away. Good afternoon and thank you for attending. My name is John Milburn and as James mentioned, I am an instructor for Pragmatic Marketing. Today's session is going to discuss technology product assessment for strategy development and alignment. Technology assessment is a key step in developing any corporate product strategy for high-tech companies. It's critical to get internal alignment within your company as to your product strategy also, it can drive future product plans. A quick intro about pragmatic marketing. I imagine that most of you in the room are somewhat familiar with our company. We focus on instructing product managers across the high technology field, from software companies to hardware companies to semiconductor companies. We've had, uh, we've had desires and interests from companies who said, you know, your, your, uh, framework and your training will apply to non-technology companies as well, but really our distinctive competence and our focus is in technology. We specialize in training and consulting. We've been in business now. This is our 13th year, and we've trained over 35,000 people at thousands of companies. This little chart here has a very fine print list of the companies that we've uh, we've trained, and it barely gets into the C, so you can imagine how many companies we've touched with our pragmatic marketing framework over the last 13 years. So let's get started. Um, we as product managers, one of our hardest challenges, or one of our biggest challenges, is how to separate the strategic from the tactical thinking in our day-to-day -day jobs. We're always pulled from what we call the right side, the tactical side. That's where the fires are. That's where salespeople call for price quotes. That's where customers want presentations. That's where we need responses to request for, for quote or request for proposal. It's easy to respond to the urgent and the immediate tactical kind of requests from our customers and from our employees and from our managers. What we have to find a time to do if we're ever going to become a more strategic market-driven company is shift some of our time and some of our focus to the left side or the strategic side. Our famous pragmatic marketing grid or framework uh, is organized um, with seven primary columns and they're depicted on the screen here. The left side, which I've called the strategic side, starts out with market analysis where we understand the opportunities the strengths, the weaknesses. In a sense, we look at the market without any blinders on. We don't focus on specifically our products, but we focus on where are the opportunities and where are our strengths. Quantitative analysis then starts honing in on putting some numerical backup to our plan, to our strategy. It has a bit about market sizing, performance metrics, etc. Product strategy, then, is where we start formulating our product plan, putting a business case behind our, our product direction and starting to hone in specifically what we need to build and when. Product planning, the middle column, is where we hand off our plan and we hand off tools to the rest of the organization. Then the right-hand side, the three columns on the right, program strategy, sales readiness, and channel support, are now focused on what is the marketing plan, what is the launch plan, what are the success stories, and what are the testimonials. As you can see, we probably are 